Hey, good morning. Jesus is Lord. The devil's defeated. He's an idiot anyway. He's defeated. Thank God the word works, but you need to read the word, find out what the word says and not what Brother Dry does says and Sister So-and-So and all the local preachers. You know, we've been doing it this way for 40 years. Well, 40 years, you still could have been wrong. Find out what the word says. God's good. Let's go back to Acts 10, 38. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth, who went about doing good. Anointing brings good. Let me say that again. The anointing of God on Jesus caused Jesus to go about and do good. So somebody says, well, I'm anointed to take up an offering. Hey, excuse me. That is not in your Bible. The anointing is not for somebody to con you out of money and say, I was anointed. I'll tell you something else. Somebody says, oh, I preached a really anointed service. It just scared the hell out of people. Man, it was anointed. No, no. The Bible says there's therefore now no condemnation to them that are in Christ Jesus. That's Romans chapter 8, verse 1. So if it puts you under pressure, if it puts you under condemnation, made you feel bad, made you feel ugly, and boy, I need to get born again again, that wasn't from God because the anointing caused Jesus to go about doing good. <laughs> so the anointing will cause good things to come to you. So somebody says, well, I was anointed to do this or that, and I prophesied doom and gloom. No, 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 you can't prophesy doom and gloom and it be from God because God's a good God and he's got good things on his mind. Jeremiah 29 verse 11 says, God has good things in store for you and he has an expected end for you and it's an end that's filled with shalom, man, and that word is huge. Shalom, the very peace of God, the love of God, an inward peace like the natural mind and the natural man cannot understand at all. Shalom. And in that word shalom is healing, preservation, uh, new life, joy, peace. I, and it goes on and on and on. I mean, I just, I just barely did scratch the surface there. And God wants peace, love, joy, happiness, and all the good things. Jesus said, John 10, 10, the thief cometh but to steal, kill, and destroy. But watch, I am come that you might have life <laughs> and that you might have it more abundantly. Abundance, abundance, abundance. Oh, I listen. Now, <clears throat> I believe in divine healing, yes, but I also believe in divine life. That is so that no symptom can get nigh my dwelling. Psalm 91 says, no plague shall come nigh my dwelling. So where the anointing is, now maybe you've been going to an old uh, traditional church and boy, you don't feel good unless they put you under pressure. Go somewhere else or maybe you've been going to an old Pentecostal church and they're always just jumping up and down, hooping and hollering and telling you how bad you are and how you need to get your life straightened up. Hey, you can't straighten up your life. It takes God. God himself moving into your life and transforming your life. And 2 Corinthians 5, 17 says, if any man be in Christ Jesus, he's a new creature. Watch, watch this. Old things have passed away. <laughs> and behold, all things have become new. Pat and I have been married 52 years. We're very happy, very fortunate. But we look for new blessings every day. I get up every day and I'm expecting a blessing because God wants to bless me. This is what the Bible says. What shall I render unto the Lord for all of his benefits toward me? I believe that's Psalm 115. I'll take the cup of salvation. So what shall I give God for all the benefits? Man, and you couldn't even start to name all the benefits. God's been so good to me. I mean, I'm so blessed Woo! and getting better. But what should I render to the Lord for all of the benefits? I'll take. I'll take the cup of salvation. In other words, I'll receive every thing God's got, and I got to say it this way, all the things that the Lord has for you are good. <laughs> Not bad. There's no condemnation. Listen, let me say it to you. The anointing, anointing was on Jesus Christ of Nazareth, who was anointed with the power of God and the Holy Ghost, who went about doing good and healing all, didn't leave any of them sick, healed all of those that were oppressed of the devil. So you need to know that all sickness comes from the devil. None, zero sickness comes from God. He don't got any. You know, when you get to heaven, you're not going to be sick up there. God don't have no heavenly flu or nothing else. He can't send you that stuff. Jesus bore 
all of your sicknesses and carried all of your diseases that with his stripes you might be healed. So let him heal you today. He's already done it. All you got to do is receive it. So don't sit around blaming God for stuff the devil does because God's a good God and he wants to do something good for you today. I got to go, saints. Just remember all day. You can change your life by changing the attitude toward God because he's a good God. He's anointed to do good. The anointed brings about good. It doesn't put you under pressure. It doesn't put you under condemnation. And so anybody that's putting you under pressure is not getting the message from God because God wants you to be blessed and have a good time. Remember, hey, remember this. He, he who spared not his own son, how shall he not with him, his own son, freely, I love it, freely give us all things to enjoy. Have a great day. Remember, Jesus is Lord. Thank God the word works.